We are going to create an emoji ratings feedback without using any external library. We will be using simple JavaScript to do that. First create a div which will show the emoji icon. And this is the hacks code to display an emoji, you can find a list of all emojis in the description. Emojis are basically fonts, so in order to view it in large size, you have to increase the font size of emoji. Create an input type range, which will help to change the emotions from sad to happy. Set minimum value to zero. Since we will be using just five emojis, so set the maximum value to four and set the step to 1, so it will increase or decrease the value by 1. And to display an arrow on input type range, set the cursor CSS property. And give the value to east-west, resize. So it will display an arrow on left and right side. Now create an array of all emojis which needs to be displayed. This is the emoji for angry. And this is for tired. And this is simple smile. This is for happy face. And this is love emoji. Now whenever the input type range changes, we will change the emoji too. So add mouse move event to this input. Query selector will return just one input. This function also has an event in argument, although we do not need this in this tutorial. We will display the emoji from array using current input value. Now change the inner HTML of emoji div. And this will get the value of emoji using current range value. Now each emoji also has a corresponding text which tells the meaning of that emoji. So in array, we will use objects instead of string. This object name will be emoji. And second object will be named text. So we will use same object for all emojis. And replace the emoji value. and set the textual value of each emoji separately. And made this to display emoji object value. To display each emoji text, create a tag where meaning of that emoji will be displayed and set the inner HTML value to text same as emoji. And use text object here. Give the default value to emoji text. Now if you want to show multiple emojis, create a container div for each emoji. And this div will contain, emoji, emoji text and input type range. Also create a horizontal line to differentiate. Let's say this container is for feedback about communication. Give name attribute to input type range so it can be accessible in PHP. And since we are adding multiple emojis, so make it an associative array and set the feedback type here. Now just multiple copies of this container. Change second to service feedback. And third to support feedback. Now we have multiple input type range, so we just attach on mouse move listener for each range. Query selector all will return an array of all input ranges. 
Now loop through all ranges. And set the listener for each range inside the loop. Now when range changes, we want to change only that container emoji and text. So first get the container of that range whose value is being changed. Closest will return the parent container of only this input range. So we can change the emoji and text of only this container. Now we need to store this feedback in server, so it can be viewed by admin. Create a form. Method should be post. An action will be the name of file which will save the feedback in database. All containers will be enclosed in this form. and create a submit which when click will submit the form. Create a new file named savefeedback.php. First make a connection with database. Then get the feedback value of communication. First parameter will be name of input type range. And second will be the associative index of communication. And same goes for service and support feedback. Create an insert query and save in string variable. Table name will be feedback. And there will be three columns for each type of feedback. And set the values to these variables. Now execute the query. and echo a simple message for confirmation. Create a table in your database named Feedback. First column will be Auto Increment Primary Key. And then create columns for Communication, Service and Support Type. So the input range values has been saved in database. Now in admin side, you want to view these feedbacks. So create a new page which will return all feedbacks from this table. Get feedback.php. And fetch all rows from feedback table. Create an array which will store each row. Loop through all rows returned from above query.
Save this query result in a variable. And push each row in this array. And return the response as JSON. Now send an AJAX request to this page to get all feedbacks. Create an AJAX object. Open AJAX request. Set method type to get, and this will be the file name. And asynchronous. And send the AJAX. To check the state of AJAX, add on ready state change listener. Response will be received when ready state is 4 and status is 200. First simply display the response in console. Now we need to convert this JSON string back into JavaScript arrays and objects. So parse the data using json.parse. Create an HTML variable which will contain the layout of each feedback. And create a new div where all feedbacks will be displayed. And set the inner HTML value of this div to this HTML variable. Now loop through all data received from server. Create a div for each feedback. and display the feedback in paragraph. This will be the name of column in database. We know that this will be an index, so enclose it in emojis array. And to increase its font size, give it an emoji class. Similarly display the emoji text too. Same goes for feedback about service and support. Let's try again. Give communication to hate it. And services loved it. And support to very happy. So that's how you can show multiple emojis for feedback and get feedback about different things from users. Save them in database and display them on admin side. If you face any issue, feel free to ask in the comments section below.